Hey, Seth David here from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated, bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're talking about how to automate accounts payable workflow. And of course, I'm going to uh, talk to you along the way about my favorite app for this purpose, which is called Billbees. Now, um, there's three sort of major areas that I wanted to look at when I, I, I when I wanted to speak to you about sort of looking at Bilby's and comparing other options that are out there. I wanted to talk about accuracy, effectiveness, and of course the cost, right? So let's start with accuracy. And I don't necessarily want anybody to take my word for it. I'm biased. I've worked with Bilby's for a long time. I love the guys behind the app. I love the app. I think it's amazing. I'm already sold and convinced. So recently I had an opportunity to get sort of an unbiased objective test done by a client of mine because he came in and he listed two services he was considering that would do essentially the same kind of stuff that Bilby's does. Obviously, they're all a little different. They have a lot of overlap and do different things differently. Point being, I suggested that he also look at Bilby's. And I really didn't say much other than, of course, I'm madly in love with Bilby's, and I let him kind of do his own thing. So in terms of accuracy, what he did was he, he ran all three apps at the same time and sent the same bills into all three of them. He wanted to see how well they would do in terms of accuracy, in terms of reading the document, grabbing the right data off the document, and populating that and ultimately syncing it over to QuickBooks Online. And the one that turned out to be the most accurate was Bilby's. The other apps required more um, you know, fixing of the data so they didn't get the right date or due date or, or the, 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 the amount wasn't right. There would, there would be things that need to be corrected. Whereas Bill B is, you know, had the greatest degree of accuracy with respect to the bills that he sent in across the board. It wasn't just sometimes, it was every single time. So, um, so when it came to accuracy, Bill B's was definitely the, the queer, the, the queer. When it came to accuracy, Bill B's was definitely the clear winner. Um, and again, this means that when I forward bills into Bilby's, I can count on them being coded accurately in QuickBooks Online, which means I won't have to go back and correct the information. And accuracy is the most important part of automation because if I have to go back and correct things, well, then that's not really automated, is it? Uh, that's the opposite of automated. That means I have to intervene and enter stuff. Now, the next area is probably the biggest area in terms of things to look at, which is the area of effectiveness. And accuracy is actually a big part of what makes the solution effective. If it's not, if it's not accurate, then it's ineffective. Because again, if I have to go back and fix things, might as well just enter it manually from the get-go. So, <clears throat> you know, is the system so reliable that once up and running, I can spend no more than five minutes a week analyzing what needs to be paid and then just scheduling the payments? That's for, for an automated accounts payable workflow related app. That's what I need to see. I, that's, that's how I need to feel. I need to feel confident that that's all I have to do is just review the bills, five minutes, click, click, pay, done, right? And the other part of uh, making sure an accounts payable app is effective is the bill payment process. Are there approvals needed before paying the bills? How easy is it to get those approvals? And I've had many conversations with clients regarding what's more important. Is it the approval itself? Or if I can't get the approval if I can't get the approval and get the bill paid on time, in other words, if that if, the, if getting the approval is going to delay it so much by the time we have the bill, let's say, that it's going to be paid late, Every single client I've ever talked to and asked them that question has said the same thing, that it's more important to pay it on time and avoid any kind of interest or late fees than to get the approval. So clearly timeliness trumps approval in every case, in a lot of cases. So based on that, what that tells me is I want a system that's got an approval process so that I can normally get the approvals as I need them. But... I also needed to have the flexibility that allows me as the payer of the bills to override that approval process. In other words, to be able to pay something even when it hasn't been approved, because like I said, at least the clients that I've spoken to have said, it's more important to get the thing paid on time than to get the approval, which means I need kind of like an apologize later clause in my system so I can get the bill paid and get and then get the approval and say, hey, you know, we've discussed this. Of course, I get that kind of stuff in writing from the clients. But bottom line, <clears throat> I needed to get the bill paid before I got the approval because it would have been late if I didn't, right? So having this makes the system more effective because there's no friction. I can get the bills paid when I need to, and I can make sure that I've documented the approval in all cases where timeliness is not a concern. 
So, you know, again, Bilby's makes this easy because if I, I have the approval process available to me and it's up to me to enforce my own approval process so I can make sure that I've requested the approvals before I pay any bills normally, except, like I said, if it's an exception such as a timeliness issue, right? So let me show you actually what that looks like, what the approval process looks like. So if I'm in Bilby's and you're going to see some stuff blurred out because there's this is a real live Bilby's account. It's actually mine. So we'll go to pay bills. We'll click on Nerd Enterprises. And if you're looking at the write-up, you'll see in the screenshots that I kind of um, posted the progression of getting the approval for these. Notice they say pending approval. Let's say I haven't gotten the approval yet and I still have plenty of time and I want to get the approval. I can simply check these off again and check off ask for approval. And I love this that I can get the shareable link and I'll copy that. And let me jump into another browser session where I'm not actually logged into this Bilby's account. And I'll paste the link in there. And of course, what this means is I can paste this link anywhere. I can put it into Slack, because so, I have a lot of my clients in Slack. So I can use this right inside Slack to get my client's approval where they'll say, yeah, go ahead and pay these. So they'll check them off and click approve, right? And now it confirms there are no more bills waiting for approval. And now I'll close this browser session because I'm done here. And I'll say done here. And let's wait for it to refresh. And boom, I can see they're approved. So I, I can tell by the status, right? And so now I can go pay them. I can just check these items off, right? And I can say proceed to pay. Okay, and you might have noticed in the previous screen, this screen, every step of the way, there's a payment method here. It takes a second to populate, and I can set for each different vendor what the default payment method is. All you need to get an eCheck um, payment method sort of authorized is the person's email address. And if you use eCheck and you go to pay them this way, they're going to get an email that says that, that gives them the information for how they can actually get the money funded into their account. So it makes it really easy. Talk about no friction. It's ridiculously easy to pay people in this way. But I can also, I can do a physical check and I can set up ACH, right? So there's lots of ways I can get people paid. ACH obviously is going to be the fastest and the most secure. So we always want to encourage people to do that. But of course, it does require that they put in their account and routing number in order to expedite that kind of payment. So this is the process. And again, even if I didn't get something approved, Right, let's go back to pay more bills. I'll just click on do bills over here, back into Nerd Enterprises. So even if I wanted to pay this guy, I don't need the approval. I can ask for the approval so that I document it, you know, properly, which is what I'll normally do. But if I need to get this guy paid right away, I'll just click proceed to pay and it's not going to stop me. Now, again, some people sort of complain about that and say, oh, well, you know, I don't I, I, I want the approval to be um, compulsory. But I've already explained to you why I actually think that's a bad idea. It could get you into trouble, actually, because things start getting paid late when you're waiting for an approval. And it's not your fault. You were waiting for the approval. But try getting your client to see it that way. You know, they're going to say you should have, you know, uh, checked with me sooner or, or requested the approval sooner. Um so it's up to you. You simply don't pay anything that doesn't show a status of approved. And once it is approved, and for that matter, once it's paid, you're not going to be able to see kind of the history of that. I've actually talked to these guys about this, and they agreed that it's a good idea to be able to uh, show the kind of audit history. So if you need to cover yourself, what I would suggest is anytime you're paying bills before you do, just take a quick screenshot that shows that they were that they had a status of approved, very easy to do. Lots of programs out there. I use Snagit. Lots of ways to get a screenshot of what's on your screen. Um, so get the screenshot and then go ahead and pay these guys, right? Pretty simple that way. So again, very, very easy, very effective because I can get bills paid and I have an easy process for getting them paid with lots of choices in terms of payment method and no friction necessarily of having to wait for an approval before I can pay something while at the same time I have the infrastructure that, let, that lets me request the approval so that I can have it documented that I was in fact authorized to pay what I've paid, right? So this workflow makes it 
fast and easy to get your bills paid and keep a good system of checks and balances, balances in place. So, so this is the other part besides the accuracy of a really effective automated accounts payable workflow is the fact that I can easily get the bills paid when I need to and document the right approval process when, I, when, when, when it's my desire to. Um, and for that matter, when I need to, right? So the last thing to talk about now is, is the cost. And of course, uh, cost is going to be an important consideration. So let's go to, it's actually get.buildbees.com. And that's where you'll find information about their pricing. Now, there's different areas because there's accountants and bookkeepers, and then there's businesses. The difference, of course, is accountants and bookkeepers are going to be adding their customers, their clients to their Bilby's account so that you can manage all of this for them, right? So here's the basic pricing. One customer, $39 a month. Two to six customers, $29 a month. Seven to 10, 190 a month. And you can contact them if you have more than 10 and they'll figure out the right pricing for you. Now, so what does that cost, right? What Because you think all these other services, these bill pay services, you have a flat monthly fee and then there's a certain amount per transaction. And then we all know ones that have uh, sort of more hidden fees of because it's then it's per user per month also, additional per user per month fees. And it starts to get ridiculous. You have no idea what you're actually paying for half these services that are out there. So that's the other reason I love Bilby is there's no BS. It's very straightforward. This is what you pay. And as you can see, you have unlimited ACH, unlimited checks, unlimited users for you and your customers. Of course, the automated data entry is unlimited. There's free training that's included. There's free QBO integration, of course. The only thing that you'll get charged extra for are same-day ACH and international transfers. So that's it. Very simple, very straightforward. This is what you pay. No nonsense, right? So if you're the business owner looking into this, then it's just a straight 39 bucks a month, what it costs for one company to use Bilby's same stipulation, same unlimited everything except for same day ACH and international transfers. So uh, you can get more information, obviously yourself, just go here to the page. Don't take my word for it. Never trust a guy with two first names. Get a free trial at bilbys.com or schedule a demo with my good friend, Dan, who works at Bilby's. And uh, check wherever you're watching this video for a link in the description to schedule the demo. Tell, don't tell Dan I sent you. He'll treat you horribly if you tell him I sent you. No, I'm kidding. Of course, tell Dan I sent you. He'll take good care of you. Make sure that you have everything you need. Make sure that you understand everything you need to understand. And I would love to get your feedback once you've had a chance to play around with Bilby. So if you have done that, then please reach out to me. You know how to find me. My name is Seth David. I'm the president of Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. I can be found at nerdenterprises.com or new.nerdenterprises.com is really the best place to get a hold of me. We have a contact forum, all kinds of exciting ways that you can reach out to me and ask me questions. Of course, you can post a comment right here on YouTube if that's where you're watching this or in Vimeo if you happen to be watching it there or if you're seeing it in my Facebook. Anyway, you get it. I'll talk to you soon. Have an absolutely fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you on the web.